travel. This section refers to international travel while a student. The documents you need when you return from a trip abroad during your program are the same as those that you had with you when you first arrived. There is one important difference. Now you need to be aware of whether any of your documents have expired or will be expiring before your return. Be sure your passport remains unexpired for six months beyond the date you re-enter the US and that your entry visa in your passport has not expired. Your COE, Certificate of Eligibility for F or J status, should have an end date into the future and a travel signature by an ISSO staff member that is less than 12 months old on the day of your return. It is also advisable to carry the receipt showing payment of the CVIS fee. The travel signature on your I-20 or DS-2019 is valid for one year from the date issued or until the program end date, whichever is earlier. Before you make travel plans, check the date of your signature and get a new one from the ISSO if you need one. It's called a travel endorsement on the I-20 and a travel validation on the DS-2019. Learn more about the travel signature and documents needed to travel on our website. If you're traveling to Canada, Mexico, or an adjacent island, you may be eligible to return to the U.S. with an expired visa. Immigration refers to this process as automatic revalidation. A list of adjacent islands can be found on the ICE, Immigration and Customs Enforcement website. Go to our website for more information about automatic revalidation when returning from Canada, Mexico, or adjacent islands. Thank you for watching this video. Please review our other videos for further information.